Good day folks, Boda Bob here. Just a quick video to tell you about how I currently catch mice and what I want to do to try to improve my success. So without any further, here we go. First off, what I found is this is the mouse trap I prefer. The one with the big yellow pan. And yeah, the one with the copper little thing in the middle that holds the bait is uh, good in some ways. I don't like to bait my mice, my mouse trap, and it seems that the mice think this yellow pad is cheese. No, that's not true. Um, what they do is the way I set my traps, I don't use bait, and all they do is come along, step on the yellow pan, and the mouse trap trips, and I've got a dead mouse most of the time. Now, one of the problems I have is sometimes they'll come running along, get into my mouse trap, and then they drag the mouse trap off and they go somewhere else and die. So, what I want to do is attach the mouse trap to a bigger board and see if that is effective. Now, let me show you my most productive mouse trap. I've caught roughly 10 mice in the last two weeks in this mouse trap right here next to my door. Let me show it to you. So this is my mouse trap right here. And what I do is I take my mouse trap and put it up. Mice will follow along the edge of a wall generally. They will also run across the middle of the floor occasionally, and there you go. But what you want to do is find out how they travel. And here in my shop, they travel around here, around this post, and they'll come and they'll get right in this. And then sometimes I catch them and they drag the trap off, and then I find it later on, if I'm lucky. So what I want to do is attach one of these mouse traps to a piece of plywood. It doesn't matter what kind of wood. I wanted something that was thinner and this is what I have. And so what I'm going to do, I, I cut the uh, plywood down to length and this is what it's going to look like when it's done. It's about twice as big as the trap. I don't know if this you know this doesn't really matter you just want to make it bigger so they can't drag it away <laughs> and uh, yeah believe it or not they drag this little thing away so I'm hoping that this will work and I'm hoping that having it set up I think this is about a half inch piece of plywood I hope that they will still come along and get trapped in it and get killed so what I'm going to do is replace that most effective trap with one of these but let me show you how I made it, and then we'll go ahead and set it. I'm going to go ahead and set this trap now and put it down there. And then once I set this one, I'm going to go over there and make one more. And then I'm going to set these around my shop. So, you know, I think you all know how to set a trap, a mouse trap. That's it. And here's how I place the trap. I just place it right here. They come walking along and get right in there. So in case they get past this one, I'm going to take my most productive mouse trap ever and I'm going to reset it. I'm going to reset it right here. Usually when I catch them, they come from over here and get in there. And I'm figuring if they can get past this, then they'll come along and hit this and I'll get them there. So recently I got a, a mouse. I came into here to get my tractor ready to go out and chop leaves. Fall time, they always come in in the fall. So I was came in here to get some uh, my tractor ready to cut the leaves and I found the uh, trap 
had a mouse in it. I cleared the trap through the mouse outside and reset the trap in the same place and when I came back from chopping leaves I had another dead mouse. So I can get one usually every day every other day. It's been a very productive place. I also have a trap well I used to. I made a I also have another trap on the other side of the door. So it's not there right now. I've got them over here. We'll set more around the shop here once I finish this. In order to make this, you'll need a piece of uh, wood. I use plywood, a trap. I prefer the kind that has these big yellow pads, like I said earlier. Uh, you could use the other type with the uh, copper and put the bait in it. And then we're gonna mount it to there with, so what I do, just put the hot glue on there. Yeah, I know I'm, and I ran out of glue. So, all right, put that on here. We're gonna slide that around a little bit. Put a clamp on that end, put a clamp. So I just used two clamps there, and uh, you know, it doesn't matter. I just want something to, kind of hold it together while it's drying. So here's some I made about an hour ago before I went on a little trip. We'll set that one aside. Some brand new traps that I just mounted and it's on there pretty tight. I think this is going to work. And there it is. So hopefully it's gonna be effective and catch a lot of mice. New mouse trap set, ready to go. I'm gonna go put these around the shop. Hey, do me a favor. You got a mouse problem? You think this will work for you? Hey, if you can't find these in your store, they're available on Amazon. Just look up Victor Mouse Trap and uh, they got them on there that you can buy like 12 of them in one batch. I reuse mine, but when the mice drag them off, then I can't find them. <laughs> I have to go buy new ones. And of course, they wear out after time. So I just, they're about 50 cents to a dollar a piece. And with inflation, next thing you know, they'll be like $10 a piece. So get them now while they're cheap. And, uh, I'm going to let you all go. Do me a favor, hit that like button, subscribe, share this video with a friend. If you know someone with a mouse problem, this might help them uh, catch more mice with one trap instead of buying new ones every time. And if they're not queasy about letting the mice out of the trap or the dead, you know, putting the dead mice in the trash or in the field, wherever. So this time of the year, the field mice are coming in, trying to get in your cars. Stop them at the border. That's what I say. Without any further ado, smash that like button, subscribe, share this video with a friend, and as always, enjoy the journey. Cheers.